without further ado, let's do this. How to be a lion, okay? Let's learn how to be a lion. How to be a lion by Ed Veery. The world is full of ideas. Big ones, small ones, good ones, bad ones. Some think this, others think that. Well, 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 the world is full of ideas, Charlotte. And, well, some may, some may be big, some may be small, some may be good, and some may be bad. Some may be bad. Miss Charlotte may think this, Oli may think that. So, well, there are lots of ideas. There are lots of ideas. Some say there's only one way to be a lion. They say, they say, Lions are fierce. If they catch you, they will chomp you. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Up. They say a lion can't be gentle. Well, they haven't met Leonard. Leonard loves to walk by himself, feeling the sun warm his back and grass under his paws. Guys, well, 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 meet Leonard. He is, well, he is very, very handsome. He's very, very handsome and, and, well, and he is, well, he's amazing and he loves to walk by himself. He loves to admire nature. He loves to, you know, he loves everything. He loves, look at that. He is so happy and he is so outgoing. Some days, Leonard walks to his thinking hill. Mm. Sometimes he thinks important thoughts. Sometimes he daydreams. Somewhere in between, he hums quietly and plays with words. Putting them together this way and that way, making them into a poem. Oh, guys, well, well, well. Leonard, Leonard loves to admire nature. And Leonard loves to walk to his thinking hill. And then again, look at that. He would like to play with words, hum them, and well, make them into poems. Make them into poems. Some say, wait, lions are not gentle. Lions do not write poems. And if lion made a dog, bad luck for that dog. Crunch, 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 crunch. But if Leonard made a dog, what do you think would that happen? What do you think would happen, guys? Well, lions are meant to be fierce. Lions are not gentle. Lions do not write poems. But then again, it's different for Leonard. He loves to do that. He's He's different and he is really, he's different. But then again, what happens, what happens if he, if he met a dog? What happens? Hello, said Leonard. I'm Leonard. Hello, said the duck. I'm Marianne. Oh, guys. I'm writing a poem, said Leonard. But I'm stuck. Will you help me? You're in luck said Marion. I'm a poetic duck. Together, they played with Leonard's poem until the words came unstuck. Guys, well, well look at that. There's, there's, there's a meeting between a duck and a lion and it looks like, it looks like they are like-minded. They both like to write poems and they both like to play with words. And look at that. Something beautiful is coming. Leonard and Marianne found they liked each other under the sun, in the long grass. They lay together, they played, they went for walks and had long, meandering conversations, a mixture of quacks and quiet roars. Look at that, guys. Well, they found a friend in each other, as you can see. And look at that, they both love, they both love reading poems. They both love playing with words. And look at that, they've been spending all this time playing, wandering, having meaningful conversations. Well. That's amazing. That is amazing. And it's a very peculiar fancy. But then again, well, at night, they watched for shooting stars and made wishes if they saw them. Do you think the universe has edges? Quacked Marion. If it doesn't, said Leonard, will we fall out? 
together they are happy they wish for nothing more than the skies they are just amazing together they are the bestest friends they love thinking they love admiring they love wondering they love writing poems it's all poetic and well they found each other that's amazing some say that a lion should have jumped a dog by now well, the people speak, other animals speak, and they're like, well, why, why, why are they together? Why are they together? The lion should have eaten the dog by now. Why are they together? One day, a pack of fierce lions came prowling around. What's going on here? They growled. Why hasn't this dog been chomped? This dog is Marianne, said Leonard. She's my friend and nobody will chomp her. Ooh, look at that, guys, look at that. He is standing up for his friend. And there are lions, there are lions. The fierce lions came closer. We heard you are gentle. We heard you make up poems, but not chomping a duck. You've gone too far. The fierce lions growled and roared. There is only one way to be lion. Leonard, you must be fierce. Okay, guys, there's some confrontation here going on, guys. Well, they're telling him what a lion should do, how to be a lion. And then look at Leonard. He's so brave. He's standing up for his friend among his well, among his mates, as you can see, and they look fierce and dangerous. Oh, look at that. He's very sad. Must I be fierce? said Lion. Must I change? They are wrong, quacked Marion. And you, we will show them why. Well, there's a thinking. There's a thinking to do, guys. My mates tell me that I'm wrong. I must change. I must be fierce. Are they wrong? Are they right? Or are they wrong? Am I? Do I? Must I change? Must I be fierce? Oh. Leonard and Marion went to their thinking hill. They thought hard. After a while, Leonard hummed a serious hum. An idea started to form. Marion quacked a serious quack. The idea grew. They put the words together like this, like that, building them into a poem that made sense of what they thought. Finally, they were ready, guys. Well, they are friends. They are friends. And now they're there for each other. And now there is a serious, serious, serious thinking to do. Thinking to do. Must he change? Must he be fierce? Well, 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 it looks like, it looks like they are, they are forming some words together. Let's see what happens. Leonard took a deep breath. I'll say this quietly. I didn't row to be heard. I can be a friend to a bee or a bird. You said I must change. I must chomp Marianne. But chomping your friends is a terrible plan. Let nobody say just one way is true. There are so many ways that you can be you. If there must be a must, then this we must try. Why don't you be you and I will be I? Wow, guys. Some say words can change the world. Leonard says if they make you think, then maybe they can. Oh, look at that. Is there just one way to be a lion? I don't think so. Okay, do you? Do you? Guys, look at that. This book is for those who daydream, for those who think of their for themselves, guys. And Leonard, Leonard is amazing, guys. He just, he just didn't think of himself, but he stood out for his friend. He stood out for his friend and look at that and he won. They're all wondering and they were like in deep thoughts too. Mm. And it's so powerful. Let's read that thing again, shall we? I'll say this quietly. I need not row to be heard. I can be a friend to a bee or a bird. 
You said I must change. I must jump Marianne. But jumping your friends is a terrible plan. Let nobody say just one way is true. There are so many ways that you can be you. If there must be a must, then this mu then this we must try. Why don't you be you and I will be I? What an amazing, amazing poem by Leonard and Marianne. And then we'll learn, we, well, we'll learn how to be a lion. Well, how to be a lion, guys? Well, I think you know the answer by now. You can be a lion, you can be fierce, you can be very, very strong when you stood out for your friend, when you stand for your friend, when you stand for yourself, and you just be you. You just be you. You, you don't change to nobody, you change, don't change for nobody, you just be 